I said 5k likes and I would drop the build. Well, here it is. My prime Russell Westbrook build based off of the 16-17 NBA MVP where he averaged over 30 points per game, almost 11 rebounds, 10 assists, shot 34% from the three, his best shooting season of his career. This is my prime Russell Westbrook build. A triple-double machine, even at six foot three. Let's get into it. But first, you're going to want to check out the sponsor of today's video, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is an app where you can win up to 25 times your cast just by using your sports knowledge. And it's simple. First, you got to make your picks. Whatever sport you prefer, whatever categories you want to choose, select your players. Then you got to choose are those players are going to go more or less than the predictions in those categories. The more picks you get right, the more money you make. Prize Picks is available in over 30 states. And if you use my link in the description to sign up for Prize Picks today, they will match your first deposit up to $100. Age restrictions apply. Please play responsibly. Thank you to Price Picks for sponsoring this video. We're going with Russell Westbrook, right-handed, number zero, point guard, six foot three. We're going to max out that wingspan. And most point guards go minimum weight because it drains your stamina less quickly when you weigh less. But as you're going to see, as we put the weight up, it increases your rebounding ratings. And obviously on a prime Russ build, we need as high of a rebound as we can get. In the roster, prime Russ has a 90 defensive rebound. Obviously, we can't get 90 with the builder that they provide us. But at least we could get mid 70s with how we're doing this. All right. So let's start off with the finishing. One of the bread and butters of a Westbrook build in his prime. 94 driving dunk. It's going to give you a ton of great Hall of Fame and gold badges that we'll talk about in just a second. But first, let's go down to this vertical and let's see. When we go up to 80 vertical, we unlock gold posterizer. And gold posterizer, if you check out the 2K Labs test, is a very, very good level of posterizer. Hall of Fame is obviously better, but it's very expensive to go up to those ratings. So gold is a nice happy medium to be elite, but not waste too many attributes. 82 vertical, we unlock the elite contacts off of two. And if you're interested in it, if you go up to 85 vertical, you can unlock the small contact dunks. But for me, it's not really worth using those three vertical points to unlock the small contacts. So we're just going to go with 82 vertical, get those gold and Hall of Fame badges. And in terms of this build attacking the basket, you will not be disappointed. The 94 driving dunk with the gold posterizer, the elite contacts off of two. The build goes crazy going to the basket. And if you master the meter dunks, you will be getting contact dunks all day long get the defender on your hip which is not difficult with how quick this build is you'll be able to get consistent contact dunks every single game if you watch the pro -M video that i played on using this build i mean you guys saw the athleticism is off the charts catching lobs like we're seeing here but we're moving on we have 74 driving layup that's the lowest we could have the layup with the 94 driving duck obviously i'd like to have higher layup but we got to sacrifice in some areas to get everything we want on this build now one thing i did do is standing dunk you're gonna see i put it up to 50 because because it's so cheap it's just a cheap very good investment to go from 25 to 50 doesn't even cost one overall and it'll allow you to occasionally get a standing dunk when you do end up down in the paint and not able to get the driving dunk all right on to the shooting now when you think of russ he's not exactly a great shooter about 30 percent for his career from three so i'm gonna give you two different options here if you want a more realistic Russ build, I would go 86 on the mid-range because he did go to that mid-range pull-up quite often when he was in his prime. And, you know, that's going to give you like the, the gold midi magician, gold open looks. And then I would go 78 on the three ball. But I know a lot of people are not comfortable shooting with a 78 three ball on this game. And as a 6-3 guard on 2K, you're probably going to want a higher three-point rating than 78. So what I would recommend is going 82 on the mid-range and 85 on the three-ball. That's going to give you bronze limitless. Now, I know it's Russ and Russ, real, you know, listen, Russ is not a great three-point shooter. His best season ever was his MVP season where he shot 34% from three. So I guess you could make that argument that, you know, you go with the 85 because it was his best shooting year. But obviously, Russ's game is catered towards other things. But just for being effective on 2K, on a 6'3 guard, I would say for the casual player for sure, go with the 85 three ball to get the bronze limitless. I, I get the other version is more like more similar to actually playing like Russ. But if you want to have fun in the game, you want to have success. So I'd recommend the 85-3-82 mid. But if you're comfortable with the 78-3, go with the 86 mid. And, and you're going to get some nice gold badges. Like I said, the gold open looks. That's going to help you with all type. You know, whether it's a mid-range or a three-point, it's going to help you with all types of shots. So that is a really, really good badge to have. But we're moving on. This is a park build, so we're not worried about the free throw. 
ball handle we're going 92 it's gonna lock all the best sigs you could want the trey young sigs the curry sigs and when you combine this with the level of speed booster that we're gonna have and the dribble style we're gonna have and, and everything else that this build has i mean you see how quick we are and all you need to do is get that defender on your hip and you can get a contact dunk so that's what really separates this build from other guard builds now like we said the dribble style you want 90 speed with ball to unlock Kyrie dribble style. Now, the reason behind this is not only you get great speed boosts out of all the normal stuff, but basically you can speed boost out of anything. Look, you can run to the same side ball hand and just speed boost comfortably. And as you know, on 2K24 with other dribble styles, that is not the case. And that's what makes Kyrie really, really elite. All right. 86 speed is going to give us the gold speed booster. As you can see, obviously Hall of Fame is better. But again, to get those rays it is so expensive but gold is a nice bump up from silver so absolutely it is worth it now if you're a believer in acceleration you could go 83 excel and get the gold blow by if that's something that you believe in i decided to sacrifice the excel because i'm gonna be honest to me the way i play i don't feel a difference low excel or high excel on this game and i'm not a real believer in blow by like i understand what it does but i don't think it activates and is effective enough to be worth putting all those attributes in so we're moving on to the pass accuracy 77 pass accuracy it's a solid rating it's nothing crazy if i was going to make this build strictly for pro -Am, i'd probably go higher but for park it's fine and even for pro -Am, a lot of the passes you're going to make 77 is more than enough obviously you don't get a ton of gold or hall of fame passing badges but that's okay again it's a park build 77 pass in the park is more than enough 96 stamina is going to give you the gold handles for days and if you look up top, we're a 96 overall. I already know people are thinking, oh, you're going to have no defense. Bro, you're not going to have any clamps. How you, it's going to be one of those guard builds. But no, no, no. We're going to have everything. Don't you worry. We finesse this to the absolute T. 75 perimeter, right? You're going to have the bronze clamps, bronze challenger, bronze pick dodger, a bunch of, bunch of decent little bronze badges to play some defense. And with 86 speed, you're going to be able to cut people off just by chasing and beating them to the spot. Now, it's Russ. We're going to have maxed out rebounding. I don't know what y'all were concerned about. 74 D board. We're going to have maxed out O board. We got bronze rebound chaser, long arms, high vertical. You're going to be able to rebound the ball, whether it's put back dunks on the offensive end, whether it's just regular rebounds, just where you're, you're chasing down long boards or flying in and just snatching rebounds over people. The build re for a 6-3 guard, the build rebounds really, really well. Obviously, I'm not getting triple doubles in prom on this build if I don't have the ability to snag rebounds now one thing we did have to sacrifice on this build was the steal rating obviously for a prime rust build you know rust was jumping passing lanes and, and and doing all those things that you need steal rating for but steel is just so expensive on a guard in this game we had to sacrifice it but we did get 68 block and that gives us bronze chase down and on top of that we can wall up in the paint and get stops with maxed out 71 interior defense. We get good paint contests. If you stay between your opponent and the basket, you can absolutely get stops even at six foot three. So this is my prime Russell Westbrook build. The build on the left is the more realistic version with the lower three ball. The build on the right is the one I would recommend in terms of being more effective on 2K. Make what you want. As always, tweak the build to your liking. If y'all want to see this build in action, click that video on the screen right there. That's this build getting a 40-point triple-double in Comp Pro-Am. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.